Hey, what's going on? This is Apple Facts channel here, and in this video, we have another episode of the Thursday questions on the Apple Facts channel. And in this video, I just want to basically talk about a thing that is present on every single iPhone, and that is the control center. So I will show you how you can customize it. Originally, I just wanted to make a video about the customization of these toggles underneath the main toggles in the control center. So I would show you how you can move them, how you can change them, how you can add new ones, and how you can delete one of those here. But uh, there are still some of the main toggles like this one or the music or the volume and the brightness switchers that it simply cannot be modified and you you don't have the option to move them around you don't have the option to switch their positions or even remove them so i will also show you in case you have ios 11.3.1 all the way to the first version of ios 11 you will even have the option to move for example this one to the bottom and the brightness anywhere you want so you're not limited to customizing only these if your device is running the latest official ios 11 like 11.4.1 you will not be able to do this also if you have ios 12 beta you still won't have the option to do the additional customization so it's actually pretty simple you need to go to the settings and scroll until you see the control center so click here and the first toggle access within the apps it has nothing to do with this so you have to click on customize controls if you don't even have that uh, then you don't even have ios 11 and this video is probably not for you because your control center looks uh, totally different and not like this but most of you i assume that you are running ios 11 so make sure to click on this and here are the toggles that you can customize at the top you can see the control centers that are already present here so you can see the six toggles are those i can see right here and those i have the option to move around by holding on these icon right next to it on the right side and moving them wherever i want if you however click on this red minus icon then it will make them remove it but you have to click on the remove once again and these toggles will simply come back to these more controls and those can also be added back to the control center by clicking on the plus icon you can even add all of them if you want but that's going to be really cluttered and i don't really know that if you want to do this so only add those that you will really need by the way if you are new here on the channel just think about subscribing because i post a lot of videos and similar videos like this one and i just really want you to stay updated i am mostly using these toggles and that's why i have chosen them to be in my control center every time i swipe up i can see all of the toggles right here but right now i have added some new ones that i think i might use in the future but what is the thing i wanted to talk about in case you have ios 11.3.1 or older reaching all the way to ios 11 then just like i said you have the option to even move around these toggles the main ones so in case you want to do it you need to head over to the link in the description and you will come to this page this is a tweak box and you need to download the app it is sort of like an emulator and additional ios apps that are really effective and really useful that you don't have the option to see them on the app store you have to click on download and it will ask you if you want to allow it so make sure to click allow you will be redirected to the settings and make sure to click install and also click verify and you will end up with this toggle or with this icon on your home screen make sure to open it up if there will be an ad on the screen just click on the x icon on the upper side of the screen to close the ad so on the top of the screen you can see the three sections the first one is home apps and information make sure to click on the middle one which says apps head over to the tweak box apps scroll all the way to the bottom until you see the torrent ad and install the app just like usual you click on the install button and if you try to open the app on the home screen the freshly installed one you're gonna get this pop-up so you need to click on cancel and head over to the settings and you can see the enterprise app china whatever just click on it and trust the developer now if you open up the app you're going to notice that you need to run it but your version just like i said 11.4.1 is not supported but in case you have ios 11 or ios 11.3.1 or anything between you will have the option to do it you would just click on run and now after all of this if you would come back to these settings now you would see the toggles or the option to move the main toggles so you would have just like normally you would have the you would have the ability to put them all the way to the bottom or wherever you want and this is the cool thing about it i am not able to show you because my iphone isn't running that version and this would be it i really hope that i have helped you in case you had this question if not that i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did just like all the time i want you to hit that like button in order to let me know that you liked it 
And for more content and videos like this one and also some Apple Watch coverage, iPhone tips and tricks and other stuff, hit that subscribe button right now and make sure you will never miss anything. Have a nice day and see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.